to our worship service. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. The last few excited to see in the past few weeks, oh, past year, but excited to, uh, you know, to see our pastor back here and get the chance to see him next week. Uh, please pray for him. Uh, I think they had a really successful um, an anniversary over at Pastor Friends. I forgot their church. Mm -hmm. Independent Park. Right, Independent Park Church. Why do you keep forgetting? It's like the, like gener the, the generic... Uh, <laughs> or dad's churches. I forgot that. Yeah. I was like, just add the city. Okay, anyways. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, you know, Proverbs and a Christian. Um, I think I started uh, the book of Job uh, two weeks ago. But, uh, the more I uh, studied that this one is the one that hit, um, hit the most. So we're going to do um, Proverbs, Proverbs and a Christian. A Christian's Guide to, to Wisdom. The walk of the Christian is to be with the wisdom or uh, as we go through life. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. Sorry, 15 to 17. Or Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 to 17. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be it not unwise, but understanding that the will of the Lord is what the will of the Lord is. Because time is fleeting and the days are evil, we must make the best use of our time. Too many people today are wasting both their time and their lives by falling to exercise, failing, failing to exercise wisdom uh, in our daily lives. Since the Word of God claims to equip men unto every uh, good work, we can see that in 2 Timothy chapter um, 2, Chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Um, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. It is only natural to assume that it provides us with sound advice according, uh, concerning our daily living, and indeed it does especially in the book of Proverbs, found in the Old Testament. The purpose of this series is to, you know, to introduce the book of Proverbs as a source of, uh, of great wisdom. We, talked, uh, we studied about Ecclesiastes not too long ago, where um, a man full of wisdom was trying to find his purpose, our purpose here on, uh, in, in, on earth. You know, in, this, in this series, we will see that to, we will try to utilize how to encourage you know, uh, to encourage Christians to utilize their efforts to walk wisely. Well, let, before we move on, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day you've given to us. We thank you this opportunity, for this opportunity to learn about your word. Pray, Lord, did we receive the um, the blessings you have in store for us, Lord. And pray, Lord, that we come, that we leave uh, the service full of your grace, full of your mercy, and, and Pray, Lord, that we live a day to day life with you. Again, we ask for our forgiveness for our transgressions and sins. Bless us with your blood. Bring back all the glory, all the praise in Christ's most precious name we pray. Amen. And the purpose of this book, the pur what is the purpose of the book of Proverbs? You know, to know, it, it, we see that in our, in our text, it is to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. Wisdom is, a, is an important part of, of, of our uh, daily lives to make the right decisions, to make, you know, to make the proper, um, proper cause in our, in, our everyday, uh, in our everyday life. Now, to receive the instruction of wisdom, ju ju judgment, justice, and equity. Now, this, you know, this is to give the simple... Um, Prudence. A young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man, increased learning. And a man of understanding, wise counsel. This book definitely is to, to help us in our daily, uh, in our daily lives. Now, with, with, with our walk over here, we know that um, 
according to 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 the book of Ecclesiastes, everything in our everything in life is vanity. Everything under the sun is vanity. Now, why uh, he found that everything that we do, everything everything that we uh, we acquire is vanity. Not unless you put God. Not until you put God in it and use it for God's glory. Because that was he he has created us for. Mm. And the book is there for the sign to make a person wise. It helps us it, it helps us learn how to act wisely and righteously. You know, in our everyday lives we we uh, we are often um, around people that the question of if there are if there is a God. Oftentimes, we meet people that question whether there is uh, whether your uh, your purpose here on earth is is to live according to your will, or that to find happiness according to your will. Now, this book helps us to act wisely and righteously, to be different from everyone else, because that is what God made us intended us to. Now, it helps us to treat others. With fairness, in today's today's you know age and today in today we're seeing um, the, the the violence against other other races, the violence other against other other people. And but this book helps us to treat others with fairness, to to see uh, to see to live. According to how Christ will want us to live, will give us, will give to the ignorant common sense. It helps those that that doesn't really, you know. I think we we um we've met quite a few people where common sense almost doesn't exist. <laughs> So I mean, it, a lot of times it's because of their ignorance, because of their uh, of their lack of was a lack of knowledge of certain things, you know. But this book helps us helps those that are ignorant to have common sense. To a young man, a sound advice. Living a life uh, as a young man definitely has a lot of questions. We 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 ask a lot of questions as young uh, you know young people. What do I need to? What do I do with my life? What do I do? What do I do now? What do I do after college? What do I do? You know, you know. Then before that, you're like, what course do I need to take? What uh, major do I need to take? Uh, this book definitely helps though, uh, though everyone uh, to give uh, sound advice and to the wise even more wisdom. There's nothing wrong with gaining more wisdom. Uh, Solomon asked. Or wisdom in order to be an effective leader, in order to to know what is uh to to know what God had intended him to be. At this point, it might be appropriate to ask, what exactly is wisdom, and why is it valuable? And a definition of wisdom is may be defined as re, a realistic approach to the problems of life. And we can see that uh, Homer Haley offered this definition of wisdom. Wisdom is insight into the underlying causes and significance or consequences of things, which insight enables to, one to apply to the best and the knowledge which he has. Wisdom is, is for us to determine whether it is what we need to do or what what is good for us or what is good for 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 our own daily living for our own survival and to illustrate you are yelled at by your boss wife or brother in christ you could act you could react in different ways you know we've seen different reactions from different people some people will react by striking back physically you know uh, or, or verbally being very aggressive when you like, you know, they feel like they're attacked. They feel like, uh, they feel like they need to fight back. They need, they feel like they have to show their dominance over their their boss, their spouse, or their their uh, anyone around them that was talking to them that was yelling at them. That's one response. The, 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 I feel like a lot of people are going by this nowadays. 
And you could, or, you know, the other response could be, you could do nothing. Stay silent, just ignore what just happened, ignore what they, uh, that, that they yelled at you. But in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1, we can see the Bible instructs us on how to, on how to react on, uh, on situations like this. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. You can react with a soft and kind reply. Here we can see in verse 1, the soft answer turned away wrath. We've heard it many times like, let's calm down, let's breathe, let's talk about, let's talk about this. Let's logically think about this, let's logically, let's think, uh, let's talk like human beings. A soft answer turned away wrath, but a grievous word stirred up anger. Again, like yelling is not going to get you anywhere. A lot of times it makes everything even worse. That anger, you know, you, because of uh, you let your emotions get the best of you, you say things that you're not, you don't really mean, or you're, you don't, you're not supposed to say. Your wisdom, you know, it, it is an insight that enables one to apply the best and the knowledge which he has. Wisdom is that insight which helps you to decide what is the best thing to do. If someone, uh, you know, approaches you with with, um, with malice, again, you can react in several different ways, but wisdom will enable you to react in proper way. Now, what is the value of wisdom? The first nine chapters of the book of Proverbs are actually this course is extolling the value of wisdom. The virtue of wisdom is seen in the prosperous life it can produce. In chapter 3, verses 13 to 18 of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 13 to 18. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding, for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and, gain, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. And all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. The virtue of wisdom is seen in the prosperous life it can produce. It this is you know this is it shows us here that it's more precious than rubies, it's more precious than silver, it's more precious than, than uh, rubies or gold. Uh, I mean, sorry, um, silver or gold, fine gold. See here that, and in verse 16, that her lender, day, the length of, her, of days is in her right hand, and riches and honor on her, on her left hand. Wisdom's value is also found in guarding us against many pitfalls that are out there. Verses 21 to 26 of chapter 3. My son, let not them depart from shine, uh, thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely. And thy foot shall not stumble when thou liest down. Thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold uh, for, from being taken. We can see here that you, we can find confidence in the Lord, and we can find that no matter what is going on around us, no matter what, uh, no matter how many things, how many bad things are going around us, we can find confidence. That our decision that. That when we lie down and when we sleep, we, we will not be afraid. That when we, uh, when we, our sleep shall feel like, you know, it'll feel like you're sleeping in clouds. Because we have that confidence in the Lord. 
some of the pitfalls that are frequently warned against in the Pro book of Proverbs is evil companionship. In chapter 1, verses 10 to 19, son of sinners entice thee consent thou not if they say come with us let us lay wait for blood let us lurk pr uh, privately for the innocent without cause let us swallow them up alive as a grave and whole as those that go down into the pit we shall find all precious substance we shall fill our houses with spoil cast in thy lot among us let us have one purse let us all have one purse my son walk not thou in the way with them refrain thy foot from their path but their feet run to evil, and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, and they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privately for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain. Wicked take it away the life of the, uh, the owners thereof. They want you to join, to join them in their wrongdoing. They want you to do exactly what they want you to do, what they want to do as well. Now, wisdom... But if you do, you will be caught with them in their own self-destruction. Wisdom will preserve you from this. Wisdom will help you. Will, will, with the wisdom that you have, with wisdom, with the right wisdom, you will stray, stay away from this. I mean, this is a, a destructive path where, where they want to lay waste to anyone else that are, are around. That they want to, they're okay to rob those uh, that... that uh, everyone else, you know, wisdom will preserve you from this. You know, wisdom will uh, will preserve you from uh, from the moral woman. In chapter five, verse uh, one to fourteen, my son, attend unto thy wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a, ha a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter or as a wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her step take, steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldst ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, but that thou canst not know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way from her, far from her, and come not nigh to the door, come not nigh the door of her house. Lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Let strangers be filled with thy wealth, and, la and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof? And I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, not inclined, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. It was almost... Um, sorry, I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. An affair might appear exciting and harmless, but immor immorality is one of the quickest way to destroy one's uh, self physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You now the exercise of wisdom was spare one from total ruin. To some, you know, the the the. The chase of having an affair, or, or you know, this, this having an immoral woman, it will, it can destroy us physically and our, and our emotionally and spiritually. And that's where wisdom come in, comes in to help to help us uh, steer clear from that laziness. Chapter six and verses six to eleven. Go to the ants, the sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer or ruler, provided her meat in the summer and gathered her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? It may be good to do nothing. It feels good to just kind of lay around, you know, lie in bed, kind of peruse, you know, all the social media. It feels good, you know, especially you know after a long, uh, long week of. Of, of work but you know slot can guarantee guarantee failure and poverty it says uh, wisdom provides a much better way of life certainly we could see that the wisdom is the great is of great va value well, let's go one step further and notice in particular the value of the book of Proverbs in regards to having wisdom and the, the value of the book of Proverbs wisdom is normally gained through 
one of two uh, sources through years of trial and error. We might find uh, those that have gone through a lot of things, uh, gone through a lot of difficult things wiser. We, they tend to give us uh, advices that helps us go, uh, you know, that, that because of their own experience. And through years of trial and error, this is a source when a person chooses to listen only to one's own experience. But there are disadvantages to gaining wisdom this way. Much of one's lifetime can be wasted trying to learn through trial and error. One is forced to live with the consequences of their errors. Sadly, this is the only way many people gain wisdom, and, the only, that, and that only if they survive their errors. Many people who try to like, who says, you know, let me live my own life. This is, let me make my own mistakes. People that doesn't want to listen tend to, to live in their own, in their own, to, tend to wallow in their own mistakes, of oh, past mistakes. Living the consequences of their own actions from, uh, from when they could have used uh, wisdom. Uh, there, through the proven experience of others, this is possible only if one is willing to heed advice of others. There are clear advantages to gaining wisdom this way. You can avoid wasting years of life uh, through uh, through trial. If you listen to those uh, uh, to trial and error, thus living life to 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 its fullest measure. I think a lot of us have come uh, have come to our parents and asked them, you know, about certain things about how to. To, to go about certain things. A lot of times they tell you, like, they don't do this because, you know, back in the day, like, when I did this back in the day, it was like, this, this is the result. A lot of times, well, I think we've heard the saying, what you do to de today will determine who you are tomorrow, in the future. That certainly applies uh, to, to, to that wisdom. If we listen to those that have already experienced, um, that, ha that already has experience and has the wisdom to tell you, don't do that, or this is a good way to 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 go about life. You know, there is there is that advantage and disadvantages. You ex you experience life and burdened with the consequences of earlier mistakes. Now, certainly, this me method of gaining wisdom is far uh, superior. Listen to those. That gives you sound advice. That gives that, that, that helps you. Uh, that gives you guidance in your everyday life. A superior way of gaining wisdom is that makes is what makes the book of Proverbs so valuable. Instead of wasting our short time here on earth trying to discover wisdom through the process of trial and error, we can go straight to the book of Proverbs. Here we get that is divinely inspired by God. Proven to be true by generation, generations of righteous men and women who live out their lives by the teachings found in it. Expressed concisely in ways easy to remember. A proverbs, proverb, a short sentence based on long experience. Yes, the value of the book of Proverbs is that it, it, it provides the wisdom of God himself. When we go back to uh, Solomon, who has, you know, the the wisest man to be to have live on earth, mm -hmm. to 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 be able to to study the purpose of life, uh, the purpose of life here on earth on his own wisdom, and then adding God's wisdom in it. Mm -hmm. This is not easy to say to. It takes a little effort to glean from the wisdom. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 to 6. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with, with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart unto understanding. Yea, if thou priest after knowledge and lifted up, liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest, her, uh, searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. For the Lord give it wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Our knowledge, our wisdom, the, w the way to live about life, the, the way to, 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 to live 
our life here. We can find that knowledge and that wisdom through God. Our understanding of, uh, of life through God. And for those who will look to God through His word and prayers, the promise of God is that wisdom will be granted to them. And this is a far better way to find wisdom than the way most people do it. I hope this introductory lesson has made you want to study the book of Proverbs in order to, to glean its treasures of wisdom waiting for us. Succeeding lessons, we will survey the book of Proverbs by considering the wisdom it offers pertaining to various relationships we have in this life. Of course, no discussion concerning wisdom can be complete without mentioning Jesus Christ, in whom we are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. When Jesus Christ is in your life, there is no way to be truly wise. It's have you come to Christ? You know, those, uh, this is a question that, that we need to ask. How is our relationship with Christ? How is our relationship w with our own God? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank the Lord for this wonderful day. Thank the Lord for this opportunity to learn about Pray that we have received the lesson that you have in store for us today, the blessing to you have in store for us. And thank you, Lord, and guide us as we go. Bring back all the glory and all the praise of Christ. Most precious name is Amen.